What we're talking about today is complex properties and collection syntax. And XAML, like uh, XHTML and XML, is a hierarchical tree of nested elements or nested tags in the case of HTML. And in this hierarchical tree, some elements can be collections. And collections in XAML are pretty much identical to collections in C Sharp in that they usually have an S at the end of them, the name of the collection, and the elements in the collection are the same name but without the S. So it's like the singular is the member of the collection. And such properties are, com are referred to as complex properties, the ones that have a collection syntax. I should add that, that uh, complex properties can be property elements and they can also be uh, object elements. So uh, there's not a restriction there really. So if we begin with the uh, grid and create a property element for the grid of uh, background. and allow some room for uh, elements. Hmm, I don't know why it's giving me a hassle there. But and put in a uh, linear gradient brush, which actually is just a uh, an object element. And then add a property element for linear gradient brush of uh, gradient stops and then we can directly put gradient stop elements with the S off under the the property element but just to make things more clear and self-documenting we can also add a gradient stop collection and then start putting in our gradient stops. And just to save some time, I cut and paste these in. The red goes from 0 to 0.5, and the white goes theoretically from 0.5 to 1, but we have a blue on 1. So in fact, the blue is going to push the white back. And if we look at uh, what this looks like in the design view. You can see we've got the red flowing into the white and there's actually a lot more white there than you see because the red is fading out into white and then the white fades out into the blue. So we've got our three gradient stops and if I compile and run this you see we have the the window and a nice thing about XAML is this it is totally coordinate independent so I can expand this to any size I want and the background just expands to fit fit it. Well I hope you uh, enjoyed this video and learned a lot and I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.